Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Once again, my name is Susan Murphy. I'm the Workforce Director for the Visitation Valley Neighborhood Access Point. I also have with me my staff on hand, which is Ms. Sandra. She's one of my career advisors and my program manager, Melvin. So working at SFO, two things to know. First source hiring ordinance. Local law helps economically disadvantaged folks find work. SFO employers look at first source job seekers first. That means it's a 10 day window. Supportive services are available to provide money to you to cover initial expenses. Must go through city's workforce network to get program benefits. Do you guys understand when I say supportive services available money to you prior to what that means? What that looks like? So for instance, if you have an interview at the airport you, or you need to go to the airport, I'll give you a clipper card so you're able to get there. That's an example. If you need, but they have to have that interview first <laughs> before they can add that. That's another type of supportive service. You must go through the city's workforce network to get program benefits. Therefore, if you go through me, I'll be able to provide those supportive services for you. Workforce network equals neighborhood access points. Those are the NAPs. And these are all the different areas that they're located in Chinatown, Mission, Viz Valley, Bayview, Tenderloin, Western Edition, Comprehensive Access Point, and Specialized Access Points. Any questions? Many advantages working at SFO through the NAPS. Client advocacy, good paying jobs, over minimum wage. Like he had stated, $17 starting in November. We are in November. 11. November 11th. Supportive services, funds to cover initial expenses once hired. Layoff aversion, job security, laid off SFO employees get priority for open SFO jobs. First source, 10 day advantage. There are different sectors located at the airport. For instance, customer service, custodial, security, ramp, food service, retail, driver, mechanical, and admin. We're gonna spend a little bit of time here on this one, this uh, fourth bullet point here, the layoff aversion. So what does that mean to you guys? So th this, is, this is another one of the benefits that I was talking about at the airport. So that basically means the two words to remember here are job security. Okay, so what the, so what happens is to get a job at the airport, and we'll get into this in a little while, you have to pass um, like the security background check and a drug test, depending on what kind of job you're getting. Um, it, there's some variation, but once you pass that, then you get badged, right? You get a badge that says, I work at the airport, I can go through security, through certain levels. Um, and that's very important. That makes you very valuable because not everyone can get one, right? So once you have one, Let's say the economy starts to turn, right? The economy is doing really well right now. Let's say it starts to turn and companies start laying off people. When that time comes, and it will come, it always does, right? When that time comes, you want to be at the airport because if you do get laid off from one company, what the, the airport has a policy that says, we try to get people that got laid off, we try to get them a job with another company at the airport. So instead of that company hiring more people outside the airport, they're supposed to hire you first because you're already badged and that's the policy at the airport. So this is a very this is a very good thing to understand at the airport and this is a, another one of the benefits um, that they offer there. Any questions around that? Okay. So these are some of what he, we were speaking about. Baggage handling, ramp agent. A ramp agent also does more than just the baggage. They can also do the airline, the, what is it called? The airplane marshalling, where they, they tell the airline, the airplanes how to come in. Um, so ramp agent between, well, it's going up at that time, 1652 to 1816 hour with health, dental benefits, and flight benefits. So most of these have benefits. Airline ticketing is customer service, food service, multiple positions between 15 to 2165, free hot meals. Custodial, cabin cleaner, health benefits, security officer, 1452 to 2252, and that's not just TSA. There are other type of security positions that are available. Retail, wheelchair agent, and they also receive tips. So even if it says 15 to 16 an hour, keep in mind that they receive tips. Was there anything you wanted to add? Reality check, what to expect. All jobs require background check, federal requirements. So it's 10 year background check, federal. And some, have, some require seven. Some require seven. So time delay, three to six weeks for badging process. 
tea badge reduces that wait time. Is that the one where they get yeah, the temporary, temporary temporary badge? So you can actually start with the temporary badge. That's a new thing they started at the airport about three or four months ago. And what I want to bring attention to is many but not all require drug tests. A lot of, for instance, the restaurants don't really do a lot of drug testing. Everyone else may, but for instance, restaurants may not specifically require drug testing. Some jobs require graveyard shifts. And if you're going to the airport, I need you to know that they really, really want people who are flexible. Keep in mind that the airport is 24 seven all year long. So they really want you to be flexible. If you say I can only work from this time to this time, specifically I only want nine to five, keep in mind there are also seniority. So those people get that first those lux job, those lux times. So you have to keep in mind, they really want you to be flexible. Be flexible, get in, and then work out your time later. Yeah. Many, go ahead. That, I'm sorry to but a lot of that is because of the unions. I, I don't know what the percentage is, but I think it's something like 90 or 95% of the jobs at the airport are, are union-based. And keep in mind that some, some employers really like to work with, for instance, um, students, like if you're going to college, because those shifts, you're not going to school, those are the ones they're trying to fill as well. Many but not all require English proficiency, specifically at the airport. If there's an emergency, the um, employee needs to be able to have, if it's an emergency situa situation, they need to be able to communicate both to staff as well as to the guests that are in the airport. Can you get there? So distance time, BART fees, parking fees. Do we go into this later? Yeah. Okay. So there's, so keep that in mind, how far it is, how are you going to get there, and all the different ways to be able to get there. So who needs a car? Many ways to get to SFO. There's Samtrans, there's BART, and there's carpool apps. Is that still viable, the carpool apps? The carpool apps are still there. Okay. So these are some of the routes from Samtrans, the K, the X, the Route 292, and the AM routes, so Route 397. So there are big BART discounts for SFO employees. So roughly 50% discount for SFO employees. From Civic Center to SFO is 455 each way. It would be 895 without the discount. All batched SFO employees are eligible. And this is where I come in in regards to supportive service as well. I don't know if it's coming in the next slide, but for instance, if you get hired on at the airport, I will be able to provide you between $100 to $160 for between four weeks. So when you give me get your first paycheck, we get a copy of that. I give you a card for $100 to $160 for you to get to the airport. It's for whatever it is that you may need, gas, BART, parking, what have you. That's what I'll provide twice. And if I can say something real quick. Mm -hmm. So the... Um the car rental companies like Hertz and Avis and Enterprise, all those guys that, you know, that we see all the commercials, they, those employees have to go through the background check. Uh, not all of them have a drug check, but even though they have to go through the background check, I don't know why, but the policy is that those, the, uh, the car rental agencies are not badged. So this is something, if you were one of the folks that raised your hand for BART, what that means is the car rental agencies, because they are not badged, they do not get the BART discount. Subsidized child care. PAL care has formal agreement with SFO, prioritizes airport employees. Very significant discounts available based on income and family size. They are located in Burlingame, very close to the airport. Shuttles from daycare to BART are available. There's a three to four month wait list, longer for infants. Once badged, register at PAL care. How to apply for an SFO job? Apply through your NAP, the only way to get full advantages. The 10-day window advantage through First Source, dollars through Supportive Services, Faces SF, specialize in SF jobs. Oh, we need to change that slide. So instead of contacting Stephen, we will be contacting Melvin. Also, in regards to SF Supportive Services, for instance, if you, if the employer does not do a, does not pay for a background, We'll pay for the background. If you need boots, if you need um, equipment for the ears or what have you that, I forgot what those are called, we'll, we'll pay for that as well. So there's certain types of benefits being able to go through us to help support you to make it a win-win situation for you. 
And then these are re registered for job alerts at these different locations, at these different sites. And any questions?